Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, depending on what time you're watching this next episode from me, Avermance, on the Avermancia Peninsula. Yes, it's Avermancia again. I've had me a little break. We are back for, well, it's not exactly season two, is it? It's kind of continuation of season one. I just had a bit of a mid-season break that wasn't even in the middle of the season because I reckon I'll do more than 100. So we are all good. I'm going to stop talking now. Well, I'm not going to stop talking because if I don't talk, it's going to be a bit of a dull video. But anyway, today... We are over by the mate space. You can see the mate space behind me. Look, there we go. But we're not going in there just yet. We will go in there today, but we're not going in there just yet. What we're doing is around the mate space area. And we are going to be doing something that is kind of similar to the mate space in that it is somewhere that I recognize you lot, but it is a little bit different. So hang on, let me just turn around. I just need to turn around. There we go, turned around. So I'm going to go along here. Can you see what I've done? Look, I've started this already because it took quite a lot of terraforming. Oh, here we go, look. Took quite a lot of terraforming. But it is a big, like, hauly type thing. You can see what I've done is I've created this massive, great hauly type thing. I've started building it already. I'm not entirely sure how the roof's going to work. I'd kind of pondering myself as to how I'm not I'm going to make that work and then it comes out the back I've had to terraform all of this lot out here and you can see like, over there the slime farm very nice indeed so there we go this is what I'm going to be doing and this my friends is the hall of heroes so I have got this a big old hall that I I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to make yet. I've got to be honest, I've done this frame, like I say, but I need to get the roof on. The roof is a pretty simple roof, to be honest, and I need to get the walls done. And I've got what's almost certainly completely insufficient items. That's just a load of stuff I had in my hands when I was bringing it over. Completely insufficient items for what I'm going to do here. And, oh, why have I got redstone blocks? You Diamond blocks. Seriously? Seriously, diamond blocks. That, do you know how many diamonds that is? That's 81 diamonds to make these just nine diamond blocks. Blooming neck. But it's worth it, it's worth it. And 64 redstone blocks, a load of different coloured walls and other stuffs like that. So I'm going to crack on. What am I doing? First off, I'm going to get some food. Because... There we go. That was a very long chew. What's that all about? Right, so... You'll notice that I'm not wearing any of my armour. Because I basically I left it. So we better hope that I... <laughs> I can't believe I left it at the house. I've got to be mental. I can't... I'm just hoping I don't come across too many nasties. Because um, there are some fairly dark places around here. And unless I'm right in the middle of this then it's quite feasible that things are going to spill all around me. So this could get a little bit dodgy. So I'm very, very aware and ready for dodginess, to say the least. So um, I've got my bow, though. I'm going to get my bow ready. And I've got my arrow. It's an infinity bow, so I need the one arrow, which is all good. I'm just going to have that. I'm not going to keep my sword at the moment. And I've got... Yeah, let's just get these bits out of the way. I've got a load of... This birch logs, not because I'm going to use them, but because I had to chop down a load of birch trees. So they went in there along with the birch saplings that I collected. So I think what I'm going to do first, however, is I'm going to get... I've got not even close to enough cobblestone, I don't reckon. I'm going to get some of this stuff. Um, and I'm going to start to... Oh, I need my pick. And I'm going to start to take out a few of these if I take out a few of these then I can start to make a wall so you know you know the drill right so we're gonna have a wall that's got a bit like that and this one maybe we can turn into they have a bit of answer so I'm gonna do a load of stuff like this and try and make it so as it's a very nice looking thing I'm talking about not got enough cobblestone. I'm going to be creating cobblestone as a result of taking out this smooth stone. I don't know why I use smooth stone. I just had a load of smooth stone in my inventory. So I, I used that. I, I started laying it 
and I realised I wasn't using cobble and I thought, oh, are you Wally? But then I thought, you know what, well, it doesn't matter, does it? Because I'm only going to turn it into cobble anyway. I don't need that much smooth stone. No one needs that much smooth stone in their life, really. So I'm just going to carry on doing this and create the walls. And once I've created the walls, I'm going to create the um, ceilings as well. So if I put a cobble in there and a cobble in there, that there, like that, that there, like that, and another one, that there, like that. So that's how we're going to do. So in terms of the roof, now the roof, the roof is troubling me. Now the roof is only troubling me a little bit because I've got this kind of indent entrance to this secondary chamber here, and the same, exactly the same on the other side. But what it means is this roof here. I want it to continue on. I don't want to have like separate roofs. So I've somehow got to create a, a roof that goes across this way I've, I've got some fair old thoughts as to how i'm going to do it but i really really need to uh to make sure you know what i might do the roof first stop the wall what are you doing the wall first for goodness sake man get yourself doing your roof because you'll only be upset if you don't so you can get okay so some dark oak steps i'm going to need loads of them and put your pick away and get your axe did i saw the dirt where's that dirt get that dirt as well so if i put the dirt in me here i can then get myself up this way there we go so i can get up so we're happy we're completely happy so you see what i mean i've got like this i don't know whether or not i might just turn the corner like this well not like that obviously goodness sake right like that like that turn the corner why is that oh, of course it has because that is not a step that is a block you complete banana so if I put that there like that that that's better so if I have a turned corner like that and I carry just carry on as normal if that carries on turning the corner is that going to look really weird my concern is that it might not look completely right but you never know let's let's give it a go anyway shall we and see what happens i'm just going to put this across here like this and shift click bring that around like that there there shift click that to there and then that like that so how is that going to look one that wonders you know what? i think it'll be all right i think it'll be all right so we're going to carry on doing that and um i'll be back when i've done a little bit cheers well it is the second night i've survived the first night primarily because i went and threw a load of you can see i threw a load of torches down inside the house and around the house which has reduced the number of mobs spawning but it's not completely stopped the number of mobs spawning there's a little skelly there. Let's have you, my little pally pal. And look, this creeper's coming all over the place as well. It's got, I need rid of them because the second I go down, I'm going to end up getting getting smashed. I've got no armor. You can see I lobbed a load of torches. But to lob a load of torches, I had to go and get a load of torches. Well, that was appalling. Come on, Avo. What's going on there? You'd miss him. What happened to Katniss? There we go. That's better. But yeah, I had to go and get a load of torches because I only had 22 in my inventory. I thought I brought us like a couple of stacks, but no, like a lemon, I did not. So have we got any more? Have we got any more? Got any more? Just having a look. I know there are stuffs underneath me somewhere. I am not entirely certain where, but there are nasties lurking of that. I can assure you. Right, so I'm going to use my hand to bash dirt because oh no, 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 you can't hit me. I've got no. Oh no, I... no, not you as well. Oh, it's because I forgot. I forgot to sleep. Guess what? Guess who didn't bring a bed with them again? Me. And why have I got lag? Oh, very annoying. Right, so where? You can't shoot me. You're not allowed to shoot me.
Right, where are you? If I come in here, you're there, look. I can see you, you little monkey. I'm going to shoot you in the face. Oh, there's a skelly there as well, look. Let's get you. Oh, almost got you. Oh, I did get you. That was a good shot. I'm quite happy with that one. Right, go on then. You, you fire yourself. Gotcha. Right, I'll have that little thing there. Doodah diddy. Let's collect the XP. Now, I'd have thought that there would have been more monsters than that. I'm a little bit worried. I'm going to get bashed. But I think we're right. Okay, well, I'm going to crack on that roof. Did you see how the roof looked, by the way? Did you see? Let me just, I'm just going to put this membrane in here. Right, the roof looks all right. I'm quite happy with it. In fact, I'm going to get some more wood first because I'm going to run out. There we go. Where's my... It's over here. Zips don't want to go. I want to come up this side. I've already come up this side once. Why not do it again? There we go. Right, so you can see the roof looks really, really quite nice. I'm quite happy with it. So I'm just going to carry on doing what I was doing before because it appears to be working which is wrapping around but having to wrap around two sides at once i'm gonna to have to go and get a bed and i just occurred to me if i don't go and get a bed i'm gonna end up getting phantom to death and that's not what anybody wants in their life let's come around this side and again i've done it again look that's a full block put that there like that okay so i'm gonna go and get a bed as soon as I've done that, shift click, come around, out. And yeah, I'm going to go and get a bed so as I can have a bit of a zuz. And once I've had a bit of a zuz, I will carry on doing this roof. And hopefully, when you come back to me, you will see a completed roofage and maybe some completed wallages at the same time. That'll be very. I've done it again. I did this last time, except I realised earlier. There we go, because this is the way that I've shaped the roof. This requires blocks on there. All right, yeah, so I'm going to be back in a bit. So the roof is done. Hang on, I've got to get the right tool. Just keep that in case. So the roof is done, and I've got to say, it looks pretty cool. I'm very happy with it. If I can get, I wonder if I go up to the mate's base, that might actually be able to give us a better view of it. So if I come up here, you can see, look, that roof looks cool. I'm very happy with the way that roof has turned out. We're coming up to mate's base in a bit. But what I do want to do is to start to floor this thing. So we've got... Let's open up the doors. So put the doors in. And um, we've got a significant area to get rid of. So I need to obviously create myself more stone now. So I want to get rid of all of this and I want to replace it with these wooden planks because I think this sort of hall, I've not got a spade. This, oh for goodness sake, where's my axe? I knew I was going to need that axe, so I did keep the axe, that's alright. There we go. Pop and sorted. So I reckon that a hall like this needs a nice wooden floor. It's definitely a wood floor type of thing, isn't it? So with that in mind, I know I shouldn't be do I shouldn't be doing that. Someone will get upset with me. Get that there and that there. Yeah, so a, a wooden floor is definitely in keeping with this build, in my humble opinion. And believe me, very rarely is my opinion humble. So I'm going to crack on. I'm going to replace all of this stony floor here. I'm going to leave the torch blocks for now because I want the light. I'm going to place all of these stony floor blocks here with wood in all of the chambers and then I think I'll finish off the rest of the walls with some windows which means that when I'm working inside I should at least be relatively safe. I can't believe I actually went back to base to get a load of torches. Did I pick up my armour? Did I heck it's like? I need my bumps tested. I've got a hole in my head that is not my ear. 
But anyway, let's crack on with this and I'll be back in probably quite a while. It is coming together, people. We have got, so it's taking blooming ages. We have got, because when you're going around the walls, it's really hard at this point to be able to see what it is you're putting on where. Anyway, is that right? Go on there and put that one on there like that. That can be that fella. That can be that. Then we want cobble. Then we want andesite. Then we want smooth stone. And then we want another cobble. And then we want stone bricks. You get the picture. We're going to go round and round like that. We went down a level. Ouch. We went down a level. Here, oh, I've got a Huh, I've now got a block up again to get up to the wall. So we went down a level on this side and we went down a level over on this side as well because I thought it looks nice. And we have got the walls coming along very, very nicely. I've not done very big windows and that is deliberate. I just wanted little slitted windows in this particular build because outside we're going to make it fancy and inside has a completely different purpose than looking fancy. We've got this sectioned off bit here so we create what's effectively another room here we've got the chamber there and the chamber there is coming on all right when you next see it it is going to have all the walls done and a little bit of detail i'm excited so you should be too well it's starting to come together but we are going to take a little break because it's time to put someone in the mate's base i just need a sign there we go right so we got a sign I am going to put someone in the mate space today that is relatively new to the channel. You don't have to be with the channel for a long, long time to get into the mate space. That's not how it works. You need to be doing something, I don't know, just contributing and making sure you know that the community is benefiting from your comments or perhaps the comments are quite personal to you and as a result, it's affecting me in a really positive way. Now, you can't obviously work out how that's going to happen. That's entirely down to my mood. But anyway, that's anyway. moving on. This person has been relatively new, but this chap does Minecraft with his son. And he has put some awesome comments onto uh, my, some of my videos where his son is basically pestering him to do this build and that build and the other build. And frankly... Good for you, my little friend. You keep telling daddy to build this stuff because that means he has to keep watching the videos, which is what I want. Today it is episode 51 and today's mate is Aid Crowshaw and also Little Crowshaw. Because you're both mates. I don't care if I've not had a comment from Little Crowshaw. You're both my friends. So welcome to the mate space. It is a pleasure to have you in the subscriber community and you are more than welcome to be here in the mate space it's lovely to have you anyway let's go forward this way the sun's about to go down again so i'm just going to explain what this place is for this is the hall of heroes there are three separate rooms that is because there are three separate types of hero and i'm going to just come in here so you can be in the Hall of Heroes and the mate space. That's what's exciting. So if you're already in the mate space, you could still potentially go into the Hall of Heroes. So I'm just going to go inside because once I'm inside, I'm not going to get done because it's sufficiently light in here that I don't get anything spawning. With the possible exception of things spawning up there. I wonder if things could spawn on those. Not sure. Anyway, look, i got a bed, so I'm the phantom. That's all good. So there are three chambers one of these chambers, and I haven't actually decided which way round two of these chambers are going to be, but one of these chambers, this chamber, is the Hall of Alphas. And this is where my mates on Alpha Craft will live. They're all going to have a little spot. This is the Hall of Alphas because all of them are heroes to me, being on the Alpha Craft server. If new people join the Alpha Craft server, and it's possible in the future, new players will come onto the Alpha Craft, they will take their spot in the Hall of Alphas. Obviously, not so easy to get into that one. You've got to be an alpha. And if you've not seen my alpha craft videos, by the way, please do go and have a look at mine and all the other alphas as well. They would love to see you. Then we've got these two. And I don't know which way around they're going to be yet. They're both identical in terms of size, so I guess it doesn't really matter. But this is my hall of members. And in this, I'm going to be putting all the people that are members 
of my YouTube channel. Now to be a member, um, it means you just give a small donation to the channel, really, really small actually, and you join as a member. The link to being a member is in the description below. You are more than welcome to join these people, but I will be putting all the members into probably this side, and depending on how long you've been a member, you get a different award. So different colors equal different lengths of membership and those colors will be signified by the different colored wall that I've got outside in that chest, if you remember at the top of the video. And then on this side, this will be my hall of patrons. So if you're uh, familiar with Patreon, I have a few Patreons, not many, but this will be the hall where I put my Patreons. There are three classes of Patreon and they will have different types of podium. I've got the cobble patrons, I've got the redstone patrons, and I've got the diamond patrons, and that's why I've got those blocks of diamond. Yep, I've got to find nine diamonds for each block, and I have three blocks per podium. So that's where this is going to be. So to become a patron, again, link is in the description below. You are more than welcome to do that. There will be other be uh, benefits to being a patron as well. I haven't worked them out yet. It's fairly new to me, but this is going to be my hall of patrons, and I'm going to fill these up, all of these, before the end of the video with my current members, alphas, and patrons. So that's what this is all about, but for now, I'm going to have a little zuz, and I'll be back when I've done a little bit more detailing and had a sleep. Right, so we are inside. You can see we've done a little bit of detailing, not loads, but a little bit of detailing, just to make it look, I don't know, just a smidgen little bit more... I don't know, nice outside we've done some more detailing as well I've not finished but I thought you know what what's important is not the detailing in this particular build this needs loads doing to it look it could not be a, a more sparse and bland room but what's important is what we're physically going to do and what we're physically going to go and do is put some people in these halls now so what I want to do is I want to come into the hall of members first look Hall of Members. So membership, the link is in the description below. It's also on my homepage. You are more than welcome to be a member. Obviously, it's not obligatory. It's not like you can't watch my videos if you're not a member. That would be daft. But if you are a member, it does help the channel out massively. You have no idea. But anyway, we are going to make some um, members. You can see we've got all sorts of bits and pieces in here. I need the white, I need the blue, I need the brown. I also need some glowstone, which I know I've got. Oh no, in, in my inventory, I've got some glowstone also. Uh, or do I need glowstone? I don't know, that might be an experiment. Um, let's see, let's get my glowstone there. And my trap doors. And I also need, oh, did I not get any? Right, I'm just going to nick some armor stands from this one for now. So I'm going to come around here and we're going to come to this side and we're going to put our first, no, we're going to put our first glowstone down there. We're going to put some white wall on top of it. We're going to get trapdoors around the base. like that okay so why is the you've just joined me as a member level so that's uh, you know you, you've just become one of my members and it's an absolute pleasure for you to be there and we are going to put that on there like that I'm going to get rid of that wall and then I want because you are a white member I'm going to get some leather armor and we're going to shove the leather armor on there and come close enough and the boots as well don't forget the boots right so that's the leather armor and I'm going to get a sign and we're going to put a sign on here and this sign is going to say the name of one of my members so one of my newest members in fact my newest newest member is Martin I hope to, I've spelt this right, Martin. If I haven't, please do tell me. I think it's that. Martin Ernstson. 
Have I got too many S's in now, or is that right? Please, Martin, do tell me if I've got that wrong. I would hate to have got it wrong. If I've got it wrong, I will correct it. So there you go. So Martin is a white member. Now, when he has been with me for one whole month, he becomes a blue member. When he has been with me for um, a, a progressively longer period, for two months, he becomes a brown member. When he's been with me for six months, he becomes a green member one year a red member and then two years a yellow member or what i like to say gold member and as a result of that we will progress the armor as well once you hit six months the armor will become iron and when you get to two years the armor becomes gold very very simple right so that's the principle of that one and then down on this other one in the hall of patrons we are going to do things ever so slightly different all the armor is going to be iron we've got three levels we've got cobblestone we've got redstone and we've got diamond and i've been thinking about how i'm going to do this because i decided that it's going to be way too expensive for me to do diamond blocks uh times three for every podium uh i just i'll run out of diamonds and then people will miss out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do um, one block of the appropriate thing in exactly the same way so let's get that on there like that so cobblestone is the entry level patronage and let me just get that up there that's going to go on there and I need let's get those out of my way and I need a suit of armor where I shall be putting on there, 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 and there. So, have I got a pick? Yes, I've got a pick. So, get rid of that. There we go. So this, I've got signs. This is my cobblestone area. So, I'm going to put, so that my cobble patron, thank you very much. Um, so, this is where I'm going to put any, um, any patrons that I've got. And my first cobble patron is Merv, oh, I'm going to put a capital M for your surname Martin, is Merv Martin, thank you very much, I am hugely grateful for your patronage. Now I'm going to do all the rest of the members and all the rest of the patrons now and I'll be back when I'm finished. So from the mates base landing stage, mates base entrance there, you follow along this road which I obviously need to finish off and you get to the hall of heroes and i actually think it's come out all right it needs a little bit more doing to it and certainly inside it needs loads loads more doing to it but i think it came out all right i'm quite happy so hang on a minute i'm just gonna have i need some cooked sheep i need pieces of sheep that have been burnt in my tummy in order to bring back my hunger bar right so we've got this is the outside we're going to go inside doors will close for us Thank you very much. Right, so in the first instance, we are going to go into the Hall of Alphas. So in here, you should know all the Alphas already, but just in case you don't, we've got Foex, we've got Kenny, we've got Luke, we've got arguably my best Minecraft mate, Frill, we've got Jax, we've got Smurf, and we have got Wild. If you don't know their channels, the question I have for you is why not? Go and take a look, please. They are producing some great, great stuff. So that is the Alpha team. We have a podium there. Mm. And I suspect we will have more podiums. We're going to have a few more people join the Alpha Craft server, no doubt, over the coming months. And they will add to the team and they will win their place in here. So that is Hero Chamber number one. This is the Hall of Members. So our white members, Martin, I did check the spelling, Martin. Martin Ernstson, I hope I said that right, Martin. That is you. Richard Duran, that is you. Lane Murphy, that is you. And Pankua, one name is enough, just like Cher. So <laughs> we have got four white members that have been uh, members for me for less than one month. Thank you so, so, so much. For joining us it is an absolute pleasure to have you then moving on to derek sorrell derek's been with me over a month now so he has moved into the blue section and then we have 
Oop, I lost myself a bit there. Then we have Sean Pritchard. Now, that is how it is spelled in YouTube, Sean. Is that T an actual T or should it be an R? But it's actually written down as a T in um, YouTube. So I'm assuming it is right. Sean, you have moved on to the brown section because you have been with me for longer than one month. You have been with me for two months, which makes you brown. And I decided, you know what? Once you've been with me for a couple of months, you deserve some iron armour. Candida Hernandez. Now, officially, Candida has been with me for longer than the period of her colour. But um, she unjoined and joined again. And just purely for the purposes of me being able to track, I've got to give you the brown one, Candida. But thank you so much. It is a pleasure. And then we have got Alandros, the queen of Quarrycraft. Alandros, you have been with me for longer than six months so you get a green wool it is a pleasure land when did you put the one on that's new in it a landros one anyway you get the green wool so thank you all of my members it is an absolute pleasure if you want to join the membership community just hit the link in the description below and it will take you there and then finally we've got over here the hall of patrons these are the patrons that have joined me in patreon i've been a bit optimistic here like i put a number of podiums down you never know, do you? Right, so we've got Merv Martin, who is a um, cobble patron. And we have I hope so, Darmad McAties, who is a redstone patron. I haven't got any diamond patrons at the minute. I've put a little few podiums. Hopefully people will join us. If you want to join me on Patreon, just hit the link in the description below. Absolutely fantastic. You lot are all heroes. Everybody in these three rooms are proper proper heroes and i have absolute privilege to know all of you right so this room needs a little bit of decorating as do the others but i'm not going to do that in this episode i reckon that's enough for anybody so i am back abomancia is back to its new slot of a wednesday you might notice because friday is alpha craft if you've enjoyed this video please do remember to slap that like button it's great to know you're enjoying them and i do really enjoy making them for you also if you've not done it already, please do hit that subscribe button and the notifications bell so you can become a member of my sub club and notification squad. And I look forward to seeing you in another video. You take it easy now. Bye.